excited welcome to my first cat try video and I'm gonna try hand spinning yarn <sighs> I've been obsessed with it I love watching the YouTube videos and tutorials about spinning and maybe later on I will try spinning on a wheel but I was also very intrigued by the um, spinning by hand with a drop spindle I never heard of it and then I started watching tutorials and uh, it just looks like so much fun though maybe also a little bit hard on the fingers but we'll see and I've watched so many videos so many tutorials um, and it got me confused a little bit because everyone seems to have their own methods, their own ways of doing it. So what I'm going to do now is watch the tutorial and film as I try out what I just learned. I'm very curious to see how this is going to go, how this is going to turn out uh, on film. And also, I'm very, very um, curious of the results. Now, just a little information, I got this on Amazon.fr in France. In Belgium, it's not, um, we cannot just order from Amazon.com. Um, certain things won't be shipped to, to Belgium. So this comes from uh, the UK, but I ordered it over Amazon France. And I got this at um, the Wool Barn. I love their name. So this is a drop uh, drop spindle and this is some felting wool or roving wool and I think with shipping the whole set was about 20 euros. So now I am gonna go watch a tutorial and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I've seen different methods. One was with a leader uh, thread, one was without, and one was with a whole different method instead of using one um, piece of um, roving at a the time, they used uh, a loop and, and basically made kind of a, a thicker yarn. Not a two ply, but a, a thicker yarn. So I'm gonna try the method I saw Megan Erisk. I'm not sure. Megan Megan Erisk Megan Erisk tutorials. I'll put the link in the description box below. I'll put all the links of all the tutorials I watched in there, anyways. So I unpackaged my wool it is so so soft i want to sleep with it or on it <laughs> um it's merino wool i'll start with um teal i love teal i love purple i love blue and um first of all a little disclaimer this is in no way a tutorial i'm just trying tutorials out so now what I've learned is that I have to break it apart and create smaller parts. Maybe this is a little too small. And I'm going to try the method without the leader thread. If it doesn't work, I'll start over. Maybe it's a good idea to do um, several tutorials and find out what works best for me. So now, I have to get um, acquainted with the technique of, <gasps> I forgot the name, drafting. Okay. And I am going to put this on the hook. and twist 
Um, apparently you need to over twist it a little bit, hold it, and then let the twist go up while I think this is too thick. I need to draft a little bit more. Ah, yes, there we go. Uh oh. I pulled too hard. I need to twist again. And then you basically let the twist go up the wall no. I'm doing something wrong like this and let go you know what I'm gonna look at the tutorial again and I'll be back. And I'm back. Apparently I was doing it right. And I already have a little bit of yarn. I noticed I'm getting thicker, but hey, it's hand spun. What I also noticed is that my spindle does not have a notch. A notch and uh, apparently you need a notch. I'll try it without. If for some reason it doesn't work without a notch, I'll just have to make one. <laughs> but so far, so good. I'm liking what I'm seeing. There you go. And oh. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna start again. So basically what you're doing is twisting the bit of yarn or thread you already make made. And then you hold on to this twist and you pull out a little bit of um, yarn and you just let go and it continues twisting by itself. Now this is not really good looking yet. I'm sure it will get better. But I'm actually pretty excited. This is so much fun. So I'm going to have a little bit more fun with this and maybe I'll try another method and film that also but um, so far so good I'm over the moon see you later bye the next method I'm gonna try I found uh, on YouTube is a tutorial from scribble I think it was Hold on. yes scribble and it's um, a lady with a most charming Scottish accent and she has a whole different method. She basically lets the um, the spindle drop and have gravity pull down on the fleece to wind it. And she keeps on twisting it while pulling it. And I can tell you, this is not going to work for me. This is definitely something for pros already. Now, the third thing I'm going to try is um, starting with a leader thread. And I saw Fiber Spiders tutorial and I'm going to try that one. But basically, the method of spinning is the same. It's just a start that's different. I found it a little tricky to start with Megan's um, method. So maybe the, the, the one with the leader threads will be easier for me. 
Now this is all uh, for the tutorials. I will show the results of my spinning in um, probably in a next whip um, UFO video. So thank you for watching. If you like what you see, like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye. So my first batch of um, yarn I made is uh, soaking in the sink. Um, you have to do that, uh, soak it in warm water for about 15 minutes. And then you have to squeeze out all the, the water and slap it around <laughs> a few times apparently and let it dry. Um, so tomorrow I will... Uh, be able to see what the result is and even maybe try to hook with it. I also ordered um, um, another uh, roving on Amazon. This time it was Amazon.com. I had a very good excuse for ordering more roving. Um, my friend Natalie from Natalie's Closet has affiliated links and she needed a few more uh, people to make purchases, so you know I volunteered. Um, what I found was this company called Living Dreams Yarns, and not only, like you can see, are the colors gorgeous. This company also only uses animal-friendly and durable materials. Now this one I I have here is a 70% merino and 70% Tusa silk. It is so soft. It is so pretty. The color is called um, Midnight Paris, I think. Midnight in Paris. I had a hard time choosing. Um, and now with this one, I'm gonna... Uh, try another sorry for the barking I'm gonna try the methods with the leader yarn I have with the previous yarn I've been trying several um, methods of um, drafting and I have found that the pre-drafting is the easier way for me to work with so I'll put the the links for this uh, fantastic company I'll put it in the description box below now this is wool but they also have other um, non animal um, fibers like uh, tansel which is made from wood I don't know if you know that um, and bamboo which is obviously also wood um, also, I looked up this Tusa silk because I never heard of it. I knew of mulberry silk. So Tusa silk is um, referred to often as wild silk. It is a somewhat thicker fiber, somewhat rougher, but also very durable um, material. Actually, the silk is also absolutely cruelty free because it's only harvested after the butterfly comes out of the cocoon. So I'm very, very excited about this company. I found their prices very reasonable, even though I don't really have a frame of reference yet. But, oh, it's so pretty. It's so, so soft. I love it. I don't know if you can see if the colors show properly. It's actually a little, yeah. It's actually pretty true to color. There is this beautiful cobalt blue in here, and then this luscious white. So beautiful. I think, if I'm not mistaken, this type of um, roving, this type of fiber is called pencil roving. So I'm gonna try this with the leader tread method. I was very annoyed. Um, with the previous way of setting up, uh, that the um, uh, start of, of the yarn 
kept on coming off the loop and with the leader thread method it's uh, you attach it all the way on the um, on the stem part of the of the spindle and it you don't see it anymore afterwards so um i think that's going to be better also i made a notch in my spindle because i did notice that as the the spool was getting fuller the um, as I was winding it, it, it came and done, and um, the notch will, will prevent that from happening. Okay, I will definitely show the results of the um, yarn in my next whips and UFO video. And um, I will also show um, the start of this one. I so want to make a shawl with this yarn, I hope. It will be as pretty as the roving is by itself. Otherwise, I might just have to wear it like this. <laughs> I know I'm silly. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Cat Tries. I am pretty sure um, I'm going to do a follow-up on this Cat Tries to show... Um, the yarn, the finished yarn, and also the finished um, objects or whatever I make with the yarn. Okay, thank you so much for watching. If you like what uh, I'm doing, if you like my content, please do not hesitate to like and subscribe to my channel. And sharing is caring, so go ahead. I'll see you all later. Bye! So the next method I would like to try is a method I... Ooh.